Thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to be taking a look at the latest Aftershock S15 that has been re-engineered with NVIDIA 10 series graphics cards. In this case, we have the base model with the GTX 1060, and for the first time, we're getting desktop graphics cards in notebooks. Basically, this graphics card is equivalent to its desktop counterpart. As you can see, there's no more M at the end of the graphics card name, it's just a 1060. And the performance is phenomenal. It's more powerful than the 980M that was previously in the highest version of the S15. And the performance even encroaches near the performance of the 980 in the Titan, which was basically a big desktop replacement gaming notebook. And it's hard to imagine that we can now get this kind of performance in a notebook as portable as the S15. So we're going to be doing some gaming benchmarks, and first up we have The Witcher 3. Basically this is running at the Ultra preset at 1080p. We were getting FPS in the 30s range with the 980M, and now on the 1060 we're getting FPS in the 40 to 50 range, which is just amazing for a game as demanding as this. Uh, we have this running of G-Sync, as well as our 100% sRGB display for vibrant colors, so it looks absolutely phenomenal. So we're just going to show you some quick combat here. So you just get an idea of how a game as demanding as The Witcher 3 runs on this highly portable and powerful notebook. So next up we have Overwatch, a game that we know many of you guys want to know just how it performs. And we have it running here at Epic Preset at 1080p and it's running smooth as silk. Basically, we are frame rate capped all the way, as you can see in the bottom right, and it's extremely stable. Um, we're pretty sure you can even run this game at resolutions above Full HD, and it'll be comfortable. So just enjoy some of the Overwatch gameplay as we try to assault this Hanamura point. So we're going to switch Hero now to Soldier 76. So one feature we really love for FPS games is the G-Sync feature. So the S series is unique in that the G-Sync feature um, is available on a, a product at this price point. Normally most of the models available of G-Sync are at a higher price point. So next up we have the latest iteration of Doom and this is running on the Ultra preset at 1080p. And as you can see, um, even with the game's incredibly demanding visuals and the new engine, it's running at an incredibly smooth 70 FPS and above. We're getting somewhere between 70 to 90 FPS in the different scenes of this game. And it looks absolutely stunning. So from our benchmarks so far, what we can conclude is that the 1060 GTX handles um, even the most demanding modern games at the Ultra Preset at Full HD. It's the ideal Full HD Ultra Preset gaming graphics card for notebooks at the moment. And we highly recommend it if you intend to game at 1080p. From looking at the benchmark figures so far, what we feel is that if you're gaming at 1080p, the 1060 is actually a really great choice. If you intend to game at 1080p, or even game above 1080p, you might want to consider the 1070 GTX. Or for 4K gaming, we highly recommend the 1080 GTX. These graphics cards represent a huge performance jump over their predecessors. In this case, the predecessor of the 1060 is actually the 970M, 
So we go from a mobile graphics card to a desktop graphics card. And the performance increase is just stunning. As you can see, just fluid gameplay throughout, even in a demanding FPS game. So as we come to the end of our gaming benchmarks, um, we're going to go take a quick alt tab out of the game to show you uh, the temperatures during this gameplay session. And as you can see, we actually had uh, CPU temps in the 70 to 80s range. It will vary depending on whether you're in an air-conditioned room or not. In this case, we are in an air-conditioned room doing these benchmarks. And that's an absolutely phenomenal temperature with the three fan cooling setup. And for the graphics card, we actually averaged around 68. In a non-air conditioned room, we are looking at temperatures in the 70s range, and that even re re leaves room for overclocking. So the temperature will vary depending on the ambient air temperature, and with just how cool these Pastel graphics cards run, we are really, really impressed, and we foresee um, much more possible uh, via overclocking. And we'll be doing some videos to show you how you can overclock your graphics card with our inbuilt tools in the new S series. To learn more, visit us at www.aftershockpc.com to build your dream gaming rig.